Mm -hmm. Okay. Caught that throttle body off. <laughs> Look at the silicone about to go inside. <laughs> so you gotta regasket it. Oh yeah. Pull this, pop this baby off. Let me see if I can look on the shelf and find the other one. <laughs> but okay. yeah, we're gonna be doing that fresh, uh, we're gonna be putting that fresh Jet Spaniel unit on. Look at that ragged ass, got a damn body falling apart. You won't let her go. <laughs> Okay. I mean, look at little flimsy pieces. Yeah, that's this. all it is. Now, a lot of people say that they had issues with that warping from the heat yeah. and it leaking, but I ain't had an issue with my HB. As y'all can see, we also cut the webbing out and we got it completely ported open to fit the 70 mil throttle body. It just takes time, guys. I used a grinder and a like one of those deburr type things i forget what these are called but i used one of these i didn't start with a drill i was using my air die grinder but it died on me so i ended up finishing up with with just a regular drill and it but it worked fine we got it ported out perfectly to fit the new 70 mil from Jack Spaniel Racing. Huge shout out to Jack Spaniel guys for always providing us with go fast parts. Anything that we can use to help give us an edge uh, when doing videos like this is always a plus. So y'all go follow my guy on Instagram, check his Facebook page out and check the website out in the link description below. Use discount code DF Squad if you're looking to buy you one of these. They are really, really cheap. And with that discount, man, it's just like, I mean, you can't, you can't beat it, man. Make sure you go show some love to my boy Jack Spain Racing. Huge shout out to him. But right now, Jeff is prepping the spacer, the throttle, the intake manifold spacer. Oh, was this yeah. a was this a 2020 racing or yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, that's about the only people that make them for these h motors anyway but yeah i have the same exact spacer on the h to b as well so i'm thinking and jeff also did you went in and ordered a v stack then yeah, so <laughs> yeah so he went in and ordered a v stack to get rid of that filter on his intake along with the seven mil throttle body and the retune i'm seeing 210 or better like I just, I got good faith with these modifications. It's gonna make 210. What do you think? Yeah, you could. That's gonna be good. Oh. That's a bad to sell. Like man, what she make, man? She make 210 wheel. Like that bitch pumping, bro. <laughs> 210 to the wheel ain't no joke. And who knows, man? Was you at 170 torque? No, 169. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it might put you me at 170 torque. That, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna give you that torque though. Believe it or not, if you ever do E85, that bitch gonna, <laughs> you gonna be like 180 torque, bro. God. But yeah, Jeff's just spreading a thin layer up here. Yeah, yeah, you ain't got to go crazy with it because it's such a nice tight tolerance and shit. Yeah, get that all set up, get it thrown back in. For somebody that just clicked on this video, this is Jeff's 90 Accord that he's had for about, what, eight years? Yeah, it's been it's been almost ten years. 
So he would not let this car go. It's had a couple different engines in it. It started with the A6, right? Yeah, the A4. A4. He uh, swapped it out for the L22B non VTEC twin cam JDM motor. He kept that for a while, went through a couple of transmissions, and then. Uh, <laughs> And then finally pulled the trigger on a JDM H23A big block, which when he bought this motor, the prices are stupid now, but when he bought this motor, I thought they were crazy, which was like, what, 12, 1400 shipped yeah, or something? I think, I think we shipped it, it was like, literally 14 and some change. Yeah, so ridiculous, but way cheaper then than they are now. <laughs> so like the prices are just crazy going up, so. But yeah, got the JDM H23A in it. It's a stock Accord transmission. Nothing special else on it. Uh, you got the 17 inch wheels with brand new Walmart tires. It's got um, also a, is this a, thir yeah, a 1320 header and a muffler, right? Yeah. 1320 muffler on it as well. You can see it's tucked up nicely under that cut bumper that we have here. So really, really good sounding car. It does uh, shoot pretty good flames as well. So that's a plus. Cut bumper is always a plus. But yeah, this is just one of the other ones. A lot of people probably know Jeff for the wagon, but this is the other car that he had. This thing right here, it pulls pretty good. So I highly recommend bro, the right stuff from you know in any local auto parts store, man. Like. This is a little bit cheaper, it's 90 minutes. You can actually get like 30 minute maker, bro. Like the stuff that was on here first, uh -huh. I literally put it on, put bolted it down and, and drove right off like instantaneously. Like you can put it right back and set. That's crazy. So this 90 minutes, so by the time I get that thing up, it should be done tacked up. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to start. We can chill for, you know, 30 minutes or 40 minutes and just let it do some type of work. <laughs> So it can take up some yeah, tolerance. Some of the yeah, yeah. some of the leakage. Time for that seventy mil. So what we're doing now is pulling these studs out to use the hardware that comes with the seventy mil throttle body because the bolts won't actually fit when it gets down here to the tighter areas. So, thankfully, Jack Spaniel gives you the hardware you need right here with all the little washers and stuff. So, you don't have to worry about it. But, yeah, we're just getting the studs took out now. And then, once we get that last one, we got the top one. Once we get that last one, we can slap the new throttle body on and finish this baby up. Come on out of there, bitch. There we go. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Some type of damn Honda 3 at Lager Sheet. Okay. Alright. Oh, you're going to get two. <laughs> <laughs> need some power now. I love the damn the cable attachment. Yeah. <laughs> That's like my favorite part. I like billet wheel on it. Big. <laughs> Hold on, you choke it down with this real quick. Yeah, that'll cool it off. <laughs> it's crazy. This is your first uh, bigger throttle body. Yeah. And your modified shield. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Just put that cigarette. That's about your 8.0. <laughs> yeah, boy. <Mom. laughs> Let's get some fuel for this thing. VTEC crossing nice. He's <laughs> had a little sweetie style and then it's like It's just straight ready to eat. We can't get out of ever.
So yeah guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up right here. Now we got a thought about it for the CD5, so that's good. Um, stay tuned for that, we're gonna be installing that, as well as getting a downpipe remade for that, and then we'll have a James retune it. Hopefully we can get back up close to at least mid 150s. We have made over 160 before on the same setup, so I would like that, but now that I think about it, the C the CB7 did have a three inches also that might restrict it a little bit with the two and a half. So I'm thinking at least over 150, man, at least. So that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smack the like button for me. And subscribe if you're new. I will catch y'all next time. Remember, respect our bills. Peace out.